Hey Alex, thanks for taking the time to check out this video. Today we're going to go over three things you can start doing right away to outrank your competition. So, when trying to outrank competition online, there are a few factors that are, that are going to dictate uh, where you rank. One of those factors is content. So Google is looking for about 1,500 words at least on your website page. And based off of what we're seeing here, you, you have plenty of content. Your website looks great. Um, so as far as content goes, I think you're doing fine. Now let's go and check out how you pop up in a search. So all I did was type in carports in Winston-Salem, NC. And as you can see, you popped up here in the map pack. You're number three on the list. And unfortunately, about 80% of the clicks are going to go to this first one here. This is going to be where most people click just because they want to get it done and over with as quickly as possible. And then uh, the rest of them will probably end up here on the second. And you'll get a few trickling in on, on this third spot here. But so we see carports.com is ranking at the top. So we're going to use them as your direct competition right now. And if we go to their site, we can see that they're a national company, so uh, you you do have your work cut out for you. But I don't think it'll be uh, too difficult to uh, to beat them out in that map pack there. They have plenty of content, just like you. I do think your website is designed a little bit better. Uh, it's a uh, more user friendly, in my opinion. But this is uh, this is your direct competition right now. If we go back here, Empire Carports, they don't even have a website. So beating them out, I don't think will be too difficult. So we're going to go here to this tool that I use. It's called Arifs, and all it does is show us uh, the details of how you're ranking and where you're ranking. So this UR and DR is uh, essentially it's a popularity contest uh, out of 100. So the higher you are up here, the better you're going to rank. Uh, now let's go ahead and talk about backlinks. Backlinks are your website information linked to another page. That way if somebody's on uh, an RV site looking to buy an RV but they want a carport for it and you get that company that's selling the RVs to list your website on theirs, that is a solid backlink. If you got Pizza Hut to list your website on theirs, it would be considered a backlink, but it wouldn't be a very strong one. It has to, your backlinks need to pertain to websites that have something to do with your business. But right now you can see you have 239 backlinks, which is really good. And uh, if we go over here to your competition, again, they're a national company, so it's going to be a little bit uh, tough to start beating them, but they have one point. 39 million backlinks. Now we don't know exactly how strong these backlinks are, being that their referring domain is so high, I'm thinking that a lot of their backlinks are, are kind of weak. If we go over here back to yours, you have 239 backlinks and 122 referring domains. So that tells me that you have stronger backlinks than they do. So all we need to do is just start uh, getting a few more citations out there for you so you can rank in that map pack. And I think if you're able to get a, uh, get the top spot in that map pack, you'll see a lot more traffic to your site, which has the potential of bringing in more customers, more money. Well, I do thank you for taking the time to check this video out. And if you have any questions or comments, uh, don't hesitate to, to shoot me an email or give me a call. And if it's possible at all to get some feedback on this, uh, I would really appreciate it. Right now, we're just trying to help out uh, business owners and if there's anything we can do differently, just let us know. Once again, Alex, thanks for checking this out. My name's Jacob. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to call.